All right. So the first uh, main question we want to get to here is what does a community manager do? Because this can be a pretty uh, a pretty daunting task that covers a whole lot of scope. So who would like to go first and, and start letting us know what does a community manager do? With uh, Maki, you want to take a shot at that one? Yeah, sure. Um, I think on a very basic level, our team focuses on growing the community, but also fostering it. So helping provide updates and content to the community. And then also on the flip side, giving all of you guys the tools to go out and grow it in your own local communities or your own channels. We have a ton of unofficial channels. So just kind of giving you guys the empowerment to do what you want, because at the end of the day, it is your community. You, you got that in a nut, nutshell. You're like a total professional at this kind of stuff. You've been doing it for a while too. As far as far as far back as I can remember, Wow, over a year and a half ago, I think I first met you on the Cardano Forum proper at uh, Cardano.org, the, or yeah. forum.cardano.org. That's the main forum, right? So you kind of manage that forum? Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's a team effort for managing it, um, but I try to put kind of the content on there. Right oh, excellent. And as far as uh, what does a community manager do, um, let's kind of roll over to the left to Ben. Uh, ben, what's your primary meat and potatoes as far as the community management? Are you the guy? Do you, do you like write the articles? Are you interacting on the um, social media websites? What's the what's the gist of the job there? So um, my job is uh, I kind of report to Mackie and Andy because um, I, I'm 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 contributing my expertise while I get orientated, basically. So I'm I'm providing my experience and. Um, and thoughts. I've got experience in community management. Um, the way that I would think about it, and I agree with what Mackie said, uh, the way that I think about it is that a lot of marketing can be quite top down. So it's somebody talking to an audience in a sense, but community managers are more about facilitating the value of exchange. So it's horizontal, whereas most marketing is kind of vertical when you think about it. So um, it's really important to understand people's values and what they care about. And then Think about how to create that like, genuine win-wins. Like that's what gets me quite interested and excited. And there's some good videos by um, uh, Charles Dwyer about how to influence people on YouTube, which is pretty good. Uh, and that influences me. And Fever B is a good resource for community management, and that is a big influence on me as well. Excellent. Sounds like you're a real professional at this. You have some experience. Now, being a, uh, basically the newest member to the team, Ben, where did you come from prior to coming to Cardano? So before Cardano, I was working for the Komodo platform, which is a top 50 project, uh, well, top 50-ish project, uh, which is like independent chains. It's a fork of Zcash. So there was some similarities in the, the fact that we were an ecosystem and not just uh, a project. I wasn't involved in like ICOs or crowd raising. I was, it was a very dev-driven environment. Um, when IOHK and Cardano approached me, I was – like super excited. I was like, yeah, definitely. I would love to come and, and help you guys, you know? So uh, I really felt very privileged to get the offer. Um, and I, it's a, a great place, a great time to have joined. You know, when I read about like, the history and Andy and listening to Mackie, you know, this is a really exciting time, you know? Like there was some fiction, there was maybe some roadblocks, but like from where I'm sitting, there's like, a lot of willingness uh, and a lot of intelligent people. And, and I said that to Mackie and Andy last night. Like, Komodo is fantastic. I love the Komodo team. I have all the love in the world. But when I joined Kadan and I, IHK, I was really struck by how many intelligent people I was working with, which was such a good sign. Like, some of the issues can be worked out, right? But fundamentally, like, enthusiasm and intelligence, uh, you, can't, you can't fix those if they're lacking, you know? So, yeah. Does wow, that that's, that's fantastic. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm just really excited about it. And, and that the working in another blockchain project, I I hope I can bring some insight. And in a way, like I can see some issues that are common across those projects. So it leads me to think it's to do with the space. And do you know what I mean? Rather than a specific project. So yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you're on board with the Cardano project. It's great to have you here. And uh, we'll, let's roll right over to Andy Hendricks. So, Andy, I've seen you on social media for a very long time now. We're old friends from back in the days of the Guardians of Cardano. 
<laughs> so uh, <laughs> that was that was a very interesting event we had there. But now you're on board with the Cardano Foundation as a community manager. What's really keeping you busy, man? Um, playing internet janitor from time to time, <laughs> basically. Uh, well, yeah, just like um, uh, the same things as Mackie and Ben, uh, we try to promote the ecosystem. We try to maintain it. And and we try to make it a pleasant place for everyone everywhere. Um, we're currently building out the ambassador program. We have a, a lot of um, a lot of thank the ambassadors for uh, in the recent months and even uh, the time before that when we were just simple volunteers. And we uh, try to make it the best place to stay if possible. Excellent. So you went from doing basically the volunteer role to now it's full time and a lot more in depth, a lot more level of detail involved with your job. Yes, exactly. All right. Interesting. And lastly, for this part of the, the questions, we'll go over to Niels, also known as Katsumoto. Now, I've seen Niels on, on the Cardano forum since I think about mid-October of 2017. And I do have to say, Niels has the best social media temperament I've ever seen because he has diffused situations where I would have lost my mind. I would have just been like, you know, you know, blown away a troll. But Niels very calmly, coolly diffuses tense situations and contributes a great amount to the social media atmosphere. Niels, what's been keeping you busy? Um, yeah. So basically, uh, just all the things that were just uh, discussed by Andy and Maki and Ben. Um, try to moderate the community chats, provide relevant information whenever necessary, uh, attend meetups, uh, go to events in na uh, national and uh, abroad as well, um, plan social media campaigns, help with social media posting, uh, just help grow the overall community and support key members, um, which we call ambassadors. Uh, where, whenever possible, uh, aggregating information and other things that support the Cardano ecosystem and its entities and anything that comes in between. 